Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and I'm very happy to have you today. I am going to be unboxing my Stitch Fix for September this afternoon and I'm very excited. I already did take a peek inside this box. I'm not really sure what I'm thinking. There is a purple plaid shirt. Mm, not, not really a purple girl, but you never know. And there is one thing f pinned for my Pinterest board, I think believe. So I'm anxious to jump on in and see what's in here. If you don't know what Stitch Fix is, it is a monthly subscription service. Actually, you can do it as little or as often as you want. I typically do mine every two to three weeks. It is a $20 styling fee. If you buy at least one piece in the box, your styling fee comes off your um, checkout total. If you buy all five pieces, you get an additional 25% off. So that's really cool. They typically send you five pieces. So let's go ahead and get started and see what's in here. Last month I actually got this like peacocky blue, green, whatever you want to call it, little cold shoulder top. I actually wore it for the first time yesterday and immediately somebody was like, I love your shirt. Oh, don't you love that? So this was a cute top and I had this really cute necklace that seems to go with it really well. So you gotta love it when that happens. All right, so let's get in here. Here is my bundle. I like that green. There's the purple I was talking about. A cardigan. I think there's a pair of black jeans. Here is my um, envelope to ship back what I don't like. It is postage paid for free. And then I also have my styling cards, a note from my stylist, and a form with all my prices in it. So let's go ahead and see if I have Janet. Uh, that's who I've had. I guess I lost my favorite stylist, Catherine. I guess this is my third fix. And the two times before that I had Janet. I think she's starting to figure out my style, so I'm happy about that. Let's see what she says. It says, Joyful Fix Day, Christy. I'm sorry I didn't realize you didn't care for bootcut jeans. I did. We did get those bootcut jeans. I say we because I feel like we're all in this together. You guys all comment. Uh, I did get those bootcut jeans last month and I just didn't really like them. She said, I'll make a mental note to avoid. You are looking for comfy pieces for your son's hockey games. We'll do. Let's start you out with another pair of jeans, black by Warp and Weft. Pair them with our Sasha button down plaid top and a burst of gorgeous dark purple. I am sending another striped knit by Paper Moon since you have pinned it on your Pinterest board. See, that's really cool that she's looking. Let me know if you like this one better. I saw that you loved green. Our carry split neck blouse will be a great piece to add. With the cooler weather ahead, I want you to have our Keaton speckled yarn cardigan. A wonderful piece to throw on when you are headed out the door. Christy, was I able to hone in on your inner fashionista vibe? Hugs, Janet. So I really do like Janet. I think she's trying really hard to get my style. So let's go ahead and peek at these pieces. I'm going to put my stuff to the side here. Sorry, the camera is moving. I'm actually on my lawn chair in my backyard. Because the weather's so pretty. Okay, so the first thing I got is this split neck shirt by Hawthorne. And if you've watched my channel for very long, I have this almost same exact shirt from Stitch Fix in a short sleeve. It's this exact same material, the exact same color green. And actually, if you go back two videos ago, I think it was in my latest weight loss journey video. So although I like it, I don't, I have decided I don't really like this material, this kind of dressier material. I don't know about this guy, but I'll definitely try it on because I'm open. Okay, here's that purple shirt. This is by Q and A. And this, hmm, you guys, I'm really not a purple or a pink girl. The color is beautiful though. I don't know. That's what it looks like. It isn't like anything I have in my wardrobe. And it, I think she did say I have some black jeans uh, down in the bundle. So maybe with that, we'll see. All right, the next thing I got is a shirt by Paper Moon. This is what I have pinned, I guess, to my Pinterest board. On my Pinterest board, this does not look like a plum. It looks like a maroon. So it's got like a maroon little piece on the pocket. And again, I just, oh, it's cute. It's got buttons down the back. Um, I don't know. I just am really wary of these um, whites and creams on me. This doesn't look bad, though. Again, there's that purple. I don't know. Is purple a hot color this year? I feel like this peacock color is. All right, the next thing we got is by Heartloom. Oh, do you guys want to know the prices? I'm so excited to get into this. I'm not even telling you prices. So the striped top. Let's see, what was that by? 
sorry you guys, my Paper Moon is $48, the plaid shirt is $54, and the green shirt by Hawthorne is $58, okay? Then we've got this Heartloom yarn sweater, and it is $68, okay? It's really kind of pretty. I can't tell if it's gray. I think it's navy, and it's got this really, really pretty, pretty I can't speak, this really pretty coral and kind of aqua and cream flex through it. Now, I'm gonna be real honest. If I saw this hanging in a store, I would probably pass it by, but I'm gonna try it on and see what we think. It, it's really pretty soft, and it's definitely nice and thick for when winter comes. So, I'm gonna try that on, and then lastly, I got the jeans. Now, you guys know, if you watch my channel for very long, that I did get a pair of Articles of Society black jeans, I think for my Wantable box, and they were $39.99. These jeans are by Warp and Weft, which I've not heard of before, and they're $98. Um, and they're actually frayed at the end, which I don't think I really like. Um, and these are not a dark black, and my problem with that is when you put like a booty on, Typically, booties are, are really dark black. The leather or even the faux leather is a very black, not like a patent leather. But when you put these faded jeans with them, it looks funny to me. It might be a, just a weird Christie thing, but I just don't really like the fadedness. So, those are my initial thoughts. I am gonna try everything on because you know some things change after I get them on my body. I will be right back, hang on. Okay, I'm back. I have on these distressed sort of hemmed jeans. I don't really like them. They're a little bit faded, which I think for some people would be great. I just really like a dark wash. And I'm not loving this shirt, although the colors are pretty. I am just not a purple girl. So I just don't think it's fabulous. That's what it looks like. All right, I'm gonna be back with another shirt. Okay, so I'm back with this little white striped shirt, which I actually think I like. I don't mind the little strip of purple. I think it's super cute in the back with the buttons going down it. I love the length. So I think this might be a keeper, but I'm going to show you this sweater. I don't think I love this sweater. I don't really like the flex in it. I feel like it makes it look cheap somehow. I can't really explain it. I just, I just don't think it's that great. So what do you guys think? I think it looks like an old cat lady. <laughs> All right, I have one more shirt to try on. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back with this green top. I don't love it. If I lift up at all, there's, it shows belly right here, so I don't really like the slit. I don't like this material. I just have several shirts of this. It's hot, and um, like I said, I have a short sleeve shirt very, very similar to this, so I'm not going to be purchasing this top. And stay back and I will do an overall recap. All right guys, I'm back. I have those warp and weft jeans still on. They are so comfortable. I do get comments sometimes on my videos because of the price of some of the jeans that get sent to me. I understand sticker shock for jeans. But with that being said, I do have to say that one of the things that I've learned in doing subscription boxes is the difference in premium jeans. And I bought my first pair, it took me a while, I bought my first pair this summer, a pair of AG jeans, and I am obsessed with them. They have worn amazingly. I've washed them, I wore them the heck this summer. I mean, so many times, they look brand new. And I have bought one or two pairs since. And I know people will say, oh, I can get a similar pair at TJ Maxx in this brand or at Macy's in this brand and they're like $40. I get it, but I respectfully say no, you can't. <laughs> there is something different about premium jeans, the way they fit your body, the softness of them. I just think they're a little bit different and I understand the sticker shock because honestly, I've been doing subscription boxes for five years and it was until this year that I got a pair because I couldn't get over the sticker shock. But if you ever get a chance to splurge on yourself and get one nice pair of premium jeans, I would suggest doing it because you will be amazed at the difference and I think it is a good investment piece in your wardrobe. I hope that you guys 
realize that I'm saying that respectfully. I have a hair that is right here. Like right on my nose. Okay, I think I got it. Um, all right, so let's go ahead on with the video. So what I didn't expect to like that I really did like was this little striped top. I think it's so cute. What do you think? Cute little buttons down the back. I actually like the purple on this, believe it or not. I think it would just be a good staple in my wardrobe. The green top I'm going to be sending back. I actually, like I said, it's a Hawthorne shirt that I have in my closet in the same material, in the same green, only it is short sleeve. It is a split neck top. So I am not going to keep that shirt. I really didn't enjoy the green one that I have in my wardrobe. I think I wore it two days ago, if I didn't say that already in the video, if you want to see it, it is in my latest weight loss journey video. Check that out. Mm, this was just so-so. I just didn't love it. If I'm going to pay $68 for a cardigan, I want it to fit a little better, hang a little better. I just didn't think it was anything fabulous. It, like I said, if I saw it in the store, I probably would have passed it up. I didn't love it. Okay, this shirt, you guys, this shirt is stunning. It is beautiful. The colors are vibrant and gorgeous. However, I'm just not a purple girl. I hope you understand that. I'm a blue green girl. If you love purple, and there are so many women out there that do, you need to get this top because it is so beautiful. The colors are just stunning. It is the Q&A top. It's the Sasha button down plaid top in dark purple. It's just gorgeous. But I'm gonna send it back because I just don't like it. I don't like the purple. Anyway, can't get over that. I will say that if you are having trouble finding a Stitch Fix stylist or getting them to gel with you, I really like my stylist. I think the box she sent me was great. I think it was tailored toward me. She actually styled this before I upgraded um, and updated my Pinterest board. I pinned a bunch of stuff for fall, so she was kind of flying blind a little bit there. Um, but if you're having trouble, I just watched a video from by Kara from Kara's Corner. I'll link her channel below. And her latest Stitch Fix, she gave them a style icon. She said, I love the way Joanna Gaines dresses. Now, I'm not a big HTV girl, HGTV girl, um, but of course I live on planet Earth and know who Joanna Gaines is. And she just said, I liked her style. Can you send me pieces that you think she would wear? I thought her box was a five out of five. So that is a great way to kind of get in touch with your stylist. Find somebody whose style you emulate, a person, and maybe throw that out there to them. I just thought that was brilliant and wanted to share. I'm just not really a home improvement flip flipping type of girl. Although I will say we were on the show Surprised by Design where my husband surprised me. I was like eight months pregnant and I came home to film video cameras in my face and big lights and they had totally changed our bedroom in a not a good way. <laughs> if you'd like to hear that story time, I would be happy to do that video. That would be a different type of video for my channel. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you in my family. Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to spread me on Instagram. I want to be friends with you. I will see you.